thousands of protesters took to the streets around the country on Wednesday to protest against a controversial tax reform bill that has been proposed by President Ivan Duque. Now, the indigenous protests faced off with police in the Colombian city and uh, this of Cali during uh, thousands of protesters nationwide to demonstrate against the government tax reform. The city deployed the army personnel and put in place a 1 p.m. curfew to impose restrictions. Over 40 people have been arrested nationwide for the alleged vandalism and police in major cities deployed tear gas amid some isolated disturbances. The capital city of Bogota also witnessed violent clashes on Wednesday. Police clashed with thousands of protesters in the main plaza of downtown Bogota near the Congress building. Now, police in riot gear fired tear gas to disperse the crowd. The marches were mainly called by unions from different sectors. The protesters were protesting these government tax hikes as it seeks to recover 5.4 million US dollars through new reforms. Wednesday's protest is the most recent in a series of marches which began near the end of 2019 against the social and economic policies of President Ivan Duque, who leaves office next year. Now, in a national address, Duque denounced the violence and said that large crowds were exacerbating the pandemic. Y la violencia no nos va a resolver ninguno de los retos que tenemos que enfrentar como país. Aquí no hay caprichos, aquí no hay posiciones tosudas, tercas. Y no puede ser la violencia el mecanismo de expresión y mucho más en medio de un tercer pico de la pandemia que puede exacerbar aún más la situación que ya se vive de alta ocupación de UCI y donde también estamos buscando oxígeno como lo están haciendo tantos países del mundo para mantener una capacidad disponible de respuesta a la ciudadanía. The proposed tax reform was meant to expand taxes on individuals and businesses and was initially meant to raise about $6 billion, which is equivalent to 2% of the country's gross domestic product. The government has also suggested expanding items subject to value-added tax, saying that the reform is crucial for Colombia to retain its investment-grade debt rating. However, earlier on Wednesday, finance official Juan Alberto Londono had said that the government could lower the targeted sum to as low as $4.8 billion to gain lawmaker approval. We are now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.